Hello everyone, this is Arthur and Talon. Welcome to the first proper episode of Retrobafest 2019. And we're kicking off with a request I actually had for last year, Quackshot on the Mega Drive. I remember playing this one quite a bit when I was a kid. I never I think I ever got very far with it though, so we're gonna have to kinda see how we get on. And as you can see, this one is Donald at the helm. Most prized possession. And of course, Pete, I don't know if you remember Pete from uh, the sort of 90s era. Turned up in Goof, Goof Troop, I think, and uh, the Goofy movie. Man, this is uh, a lot, lot more of a, an introduction than I thought it would be. Daisy is... I can't help but think that um, you wouldn't want to piss Daisy off at all. Not even slightly. So we're going to start with Duckburg because we need to get an item from here. So the main method of attack for Donald is plungers. Now these don't kill but they do stun, giving you points and giving you a chance to get past enemies. Uh, chicken is sadistically... Um, the method, one method of regaining health, and these peppers will build up Donald's temper, allowing him to run around temporarily invincible, a bit like a uh, panic button in Tojo Manor 2. Get rid of that guy, we'll go past, and of course I'm going to get hit. So yeah, as I said, um, plungers are the main method of attack, they stun, they don't kill. But it's enough to help you get past most enemies. There are other weapons as well. Uh, popcorn, uh, plunger upgrade, and a few other bits and pieces. Didn't realise Pete's gang could duck. And why is it that all of Pete's gang look like Pete? Are they all one species? I don't know. Is that just racist? I don't know. So, we have... Okay. I thought we could actually get the key beforehand, but no, we need to go to Mexico first. So we'll start in Mexico, we'll get through, we'll get told we need to go back to Duckburg for an item, then we'll go back to Duckburg for an item. This is a, uh, it's a, got a bit of a Metroidvania feel to it, I guess, in that quite often you'll get somewhere fine that you can't get any further and need something to get back or to get further. Nice, good dodge there. And a good takedown of the flying vulture chicken thing. They got some weird enemies in this game. Um, a standard 90s fair, I suppose. But there are some very odd ones. Especially in the high areas of Duckburg. Um, there's, well, you'll see when we get there. You've already seen Pete's gang, of course, and some turtles, uh, cactus, cacti, which look a bit like pokies from Super Mario. And Pete's gang, obviously. So we're nearly at the end, I think, of this one. I'm just going to save. I'm going to be doing a few save states here and there, so I can we can hopefully get relatively far without losing too many lives. Because I can't say I'm too confident. I roughly know what I'm doing, but. You know, it's been a while since I've properly played this game, so we'll have to see how we go. It's a nice, bright and colourful, cheerful game. It's been a while since i played a Mega Drive game. Um, and the music is, of course, very jaunty, being Mega Drive era. I don't often see many... Um, Many games with oh shit, let's open it. There we go. Uh, many games with Donald at the helm. 
In fact, none. There aren't any that come to mind immediately. There might be another one, but I certainly can't think of any. That was always going to happen. I badly timed that. Shame. Ow. Badly timed that one as well. So that's another weapon, popcorn. Um, acts almost like a shotgun and can actually kill enemies, which is nice. Right, we've reached the end of this section. Uh, we'll need to get a key. Sweet senorita. And annoyingly enough, we were literally just at Duckburg and we need to talk to the guy that we've already talked to to get the key. So we'll go back to Duckburg. And there he is. <laughs> I love that. I'm trying to be a hero. Oh, okay, fine, take the key. It's all good. That's clearly all we need to know. This important relic, it's fine, you take it. So we're going to Mexico. Again. I mean, we were just here, but... Global warming be damned. We're going to keep going around the world till we find what we're looking for. So using the key, and we should get into the Mexico Temple. I'm just going to slide along the floor on this one. So we can avoid the fire. Ladders in this game are a little bit on the iffy side. You have to be in just the right place, and if you're not, you don't get a chance. You don't get to use them. You can't go up, which is a little bit of a pain. It's definitely a bit of a pain. Ah, jump over that. Uh, I'm actually going to wait for him to go up. Those things—they look like Donald in a little bit, I suppose, but uh, they will hurt you if you let them connect. See? So wait for that one to come back up. There we go, and open over. Just stupid fire slinging bastard. Ow. What annoys me most about that is I got caught out twice. See? Have to be in just the right spot. Now we've got to wait for the next cycle and slip our way through. Good. Over the fire, or over the spikes even. And we'll go up here so we can get a few more points. I don't know what the threshold is for an extra life, if there is one. Um, but I'm not going to say no. Either way. Get back up that side. And there we go. I think it's actually a little bit faster using the crouch and duck method. <laughs> crouch and duck method. Oh, bad puns. But I haven't tried. Um, I haven't tested, like, the different speeds. Use this, and we should be able to get up there. Wonderful. You can actually change mid uh, direction mid <sighs> mid slide as well. Shit, that went badly. Ah, I can't get out. <laughs> fucking hell. I say you can change mid slide, but oh, fucking hell. Let's just load that again, because I am quite low on health, and I don't know if we get any more up before we get out of here. And I'm not gonna lie, I could do with a little bit more. There we go, that should... No. This section is a little bit on the annoying side. Here we go. It's the fact that they are they settle just above where you need them to, or rather you have to s you have to do them just above sort of um, fire level to be able to get them in the right place, which is a bit of a pain. Oh shit, that went that nearly went badly, and. Here we go, Goofy. Randomly Goofy. 
So he's just looking around. I, I, I gotta... How, how did he get in here without the key? And why do we need the key if he got in here without the key? So now we have to try and get back again. Fortunately, we've got less problems to deal with because the bricks, the green bricks will have gone. Um, but we still have spikes and fire and a few of the green bricks to deal with. So I'm going to save on a regular basis. There we go. The ones that are used for platforms at least are gone, which makes it a little bit easier, I suppose, in, in a sort of, a, you know, you know, we'll give you a bit of a break, but you're still going to have a few problems kind of way. Once we get out of here, we'll be heading back to Duckburg with our new uh, plunger upgrade, which allows us to climb walls. And that will take us to the rooftops of Duckburg. <sighs> that was a... Oh, bollocks. Let's just load that again. This is uh, not going too well. Never mind, it's fine. We'll pass through here fairly quick. And hopefully be on our way back to Duckburg before long. That'll let us get an item which we'll need in Transylvania. It's Transylvania. It's getting past these things that are a bit of a problem. So I'm going to wait for him to do the fire thing again. No, nope. he decided to change direction at the last second. Let's get out of here and hope we can get past them. That should. We've got a couple of flames, I think, to deal with, but otherwise, not much else. Ooh, nearly got caught by that one then. Would not have been good with our single health point. But hey ho. Just like that, see? Oh, just like that. Just like that. So, we'll wait for it to... No, screw it. We'll push our way along. That is definitely a little bit faster, isn't it? So, we are out. We need to be at a flag before we can call the airplane. You can see the bottom right-hand corner there, that flashing flag icon means we can use the airplane. And we're heading back to Duckburg. Fortunately, health doesn't carry over, so we should have a reasonable amount of health when we respawn. Et voila! And we are going up. You can use these as a sort of a springboard kind of thing. But aside from that, we can oh, climb up and over with them as well. And this is one of the weirder things that can attack you or hurt you in this game. Loudspeakers. I mean, what's that all about? It's just a bit strange, don't you think? And we're going to go do a little bit of sequence, well, not sequence breaking, but just kind of get over the wall a little bit quicker. Then going down and through. Ow. That guy's a dick. And more random boxing turtles as well. The boxing turtles I can kind of understand. It's, it's very... Ow. It's very 90s, very uh, DuckTales animation style thing, but I do wonder about this, the loudspeakers. It just seems a little weird. Can I go to, through this way? Yes, I can. Great, I remember this section. I'm going to be saving at the beginning of it. It's like a minecart mine section type thing couple of uh, correct jumps and we should be through here. This bit always used to terrify me when I was a kid. Because I was never very good at it. But it's not too bad. He says getting electrocuted almost immediately. And there we go. Bubblegum ammo um, oh, from Gyro. The old Tailspin. Tailspin was it Tailspin franchise or was it um was he in Tailspin? Uh, 
got tails as well. I can't remember. Too many tails. Might have been in both. Quick ride back. The downside is because there's only one post in each level, or one flag in each level that I know of, um, you then have to wind your way back before you can go to another level. And we're going to need to be going all the way back off the rooftops to get ourselves back to... Oh, go, no, actually not back to. We're going to Transylvania. I've gone to Transylvania. Do the same thing here. It's not the speaker that itself that hurt. It's not the speaker itself that hurts you either. It's the sound. It's weird. The sound, I guess, sound really does hurt you if it's loud enough. Drop my way down here, and I think, yeah, this way. And with that, we are going to. Transylvania. And I like this theme. This this theme, I remember this piece of music being one of my favourites. I don't use the popcorn ammo very much because I don't find I need to. That was a bit of a dick of a bat. Um, if I can use it, to, if I can use plunger to stun and get past an enemy, I'm happy with that. And I save the popcorn ammo for bosses, and particularly annoying enemies who try and stun you when you have no way of controlling yourself. Did I just die? I just freaking died, didn't I? Dull. So right back at the beginning of the level. Note to self, Donald cannot swim in... I mean, I would have thought that was that was water, but it's apparently not. So, go figure. I love the background in this as well, the proper spooky looking trees. Grab ourselves another one up. Fortunately, if we get this far each time, we haven't got to worry. Plus, we can get more popcorn ammo. a set of jumps. Fortunately these small blocks don't sink. That was irritating. I think, yep, we're at Dracula's castle. In the middle of the swampy area. Aren't there? Yes, I know my accents are bad. No messages telling me. And we need the bubblegum ammo because... Thank you, friendly ghost. We need it so we can blow our way through the door. Well, not the door, sorry, the walls. Certain walls. Don't actually need to go there. I think you can stick three uh, plungers at once before the first one wears off. And the placement of these enemies is a bit... On the dickish side, not gonna lie. Some of them just kind of appear out of nowhere and go, ah, now you're screwed. So we're gonna be climbing. Got a vampire duck bat in the picture as well. Nice, managed to get through with one piece of ammo only. Ah! Stupid hidden thing. Wonder if I can get. No, there's nothing there. Back to the plunger. Keeping an eye on my health, because I could always do with that a little bit more. Uh, I think we need to go down. Yep. So, water section. Yay, I guess. Can I go over the top? Can. Hopefully. Ow! Avoid spikes is what I was going to say, but never mind. Uh, 
the jump underwater. Huh, Donald couldn't swim earlier, but apparently this section he can. He also doesn't need oxygen. Unlike a certain blue hedgehog that we know of. There we go. Now, is it, where is it worth this going? Is it worth us going up? Oh, this section doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, this section doesn't look good at all. It may have been better to go underneath. Just managed to avoid getting spiked there. Just gonna make the rest of this level difficult, I think. Or oh, not this level. But this section until I can get some health. Try going across and up. Oh, oh, oh! That's that looks promising. There we go. Some health, full heal, popcorn ammo, and money. Wonderful. Get ourselves back out of the water, because that section is quite annoying. And go for the bubblegum ammo, because we're going to need that. These ghosts are somewhat annoying. I missed the popcorn ammo, which is a shame, but... Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, oh, I cannot believe that. Okay. Let's wind our way back, and hopefully that brick will be back. Good. At least if we can get above it, we should be alright. Alright, Donald, stop getting impatient. be interesting if his temper built up, if you left him alone too long and he got narky. Let's we'll see if we can do that at some point and see if it works. Ghosts you can't do anything about, you just have to wait them out. Again, wait for it to go past. Jump and out. I don't think we're too far away from the end of this level. Oh yeah, I remember this section. One of those really terrifying bits as a kid. Like Hydra City Act 2. I don't like crushing walls. They're no fun. Fortunately, we got through it. Ow. Another dick move by the uh, green goo of doom. And I can't believe I fell for it a second time. Fortunately, chicken gives us full heal. And we've got the same thing again here. Hmm, can't slide up a hill. But this one's slightly different. In that... There's no lift block this time around to get us up. Instead, we need to actually leave things in place. Which is a uh, bit of a change up from earlier. There we go. And that should give us the boss fight that we need. 